So the craziness of NHL free agency has officially begun and I think this is how I'm going to do the videos. If there's big name players signing, I'm probably going to do an individual video on them and then later on tonight or probably tomorrow I'm going to do a complete recap of like all the signings and where everybody went. So there should be a good amount of videos out on the channel today so look out for that. But I wanted to start off with this one, Joe Pavelski and Corey Perry both signing with the Dallas Stars. Joe Pavelski on a 3 year $7 million annual average and Corey Perry on a 1 year $1.5 dollar contract and I think Corey Perry can make an additional like a million dollars uh, with some performance bonuses so hopefully he can do that and I think this is a good situation for Corey Perry probably gonna play a second or third line role we'll get some power play time and I think if he can stay healthy he can still be a 20 goal scorer and I'm just a big fan of both of these signings for Dallas they did lose Matt Zuccarello who is most likely signing with the Minnesota Wild but getting Pavelski and Perry and you know trading out Matt Zuccarello I think they would take that trade any day of the week this is a team that is trying to contend right now and now Pavelski and Perry give you a lot more scoring depth behind the Radulov, Sagan, and Ben line and the emergence of Rope Hints. I really like the look of this team moving forward. So first off, looking at the Joe Pavelski contract, yes, it is a lot for a guy who is 34 years old, but for what he brings to the table still, I don't really see it as too much of an overpayment. I mean, he had 38 goals last year, and I think he will still be a consistent 30 goal scorer throughout this three-year contract, and for that reason, I think it is a really good get. I probably would have been a little bit worried if there was any more more than three years but since it is only a three-year deal I don't think there is a lot of risk to this and you know the least I could really see him scoring throughout this deal when healthy is probably like 20 to 25 goals so looking at it from that aspect I like it a lot and then Corey Perry you're getting a guy who has struggled over the past years but getting a fresh start a new opportunity with a contending team where he's probably going to be able to play a pretty prominent role I think he is going to be able to thrive in that and it's literally a no risk contract if he sucks and if he can't stay healthy it's really only one year and he's going to be off the books next summer so it doesn't matter and if he plays well then you can try to bring him back for maybe one or two more years so that is why I'm a big fan of these two deals and I think if Dallas can continue to develop their young players like Rope Hintz and obviously Miro Heiskanen and get consistent goaltending from Ben Bishop they can be a legitimate contender in the Western Conference next year I think Joe Pavelski and Corey Perry potentially could play together on that second line I think the top line will stay together with Sag and Ben and Radulov and then you'll probably have like a Rope Hintz Joe Pavelski and and Corey Perry second line and that is a really really solid top six when you pair it along with their good decor with Klingberg and obviously the emergence of Heisken and Essa Lindell and behind all that you have a Vesna trophy caliber goaltender in Ben Bishop you have the makings of a really good team here so I think Dallas Stars fans should be pretty pumped about this I really wouldn't worry about giving Joe Pavelski 7 million because he brings a lot to the table he was just a captain of the San Jose Sharks so he's probably going to play a pretty significant leadership role here as well and for San Jose this is a big loss for them I'm not quite sure you know who's really going to fill the role of Joe Pavelski there maybe if Patrick Marlowe you know re-signs there and gets the contract that he wants with San Jose maybe he'll be the next captain but man that is a big loss for the San Jose Sharks and a huge gain for the Dallas Stars so I'm very curious to hear what you guys think do you like both of these contracts especially if you are a fan of the Dallas Stars make sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below and what you expect from these two players for your team next year and with that being said I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video if you did please make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel for daily NHL content and I will see you guys all in the next video.